We are looking at uh, Makofi by Jabidi and um, I, I have a number of things, maybe a couple of things to mention about uh, this song and um, now Jabidi has done quite some quite some work, you know, uh, putting up a piece is uh, sometimes it's no joke, you know, it involves quite a lot. Nonetheless, we have to look at the, the doctrine concept, the doctrine content in it as well. And um, when I look at that, at this song, well, there is a clapping in the Bible, you know, kuna mali bibina semi ya kwamba, holy e, holy people, clap your hands, and all that. But then, you see, anything that, um, any concept that we drive kwa any piece of art, even in music, even in poem, even in spoken word, whatever it is, we must have the theme, we must have a concept, we must have uh, the scriptural reference that is driving us and also the idea that we want to pass across, you know, the message we are passing across. Makofi. And of course, whenever we are passing across a message, a message, it must be the message of the Christ. Because if it's a gospel song, then it should have one central message, and that is the message of the Christ. Now. This song, I have a question, maybe a few issues na can raise. Number one, to who are we clapping? As in, to napigi anani makofi. Because nime, nime skis a song vizuri and uh, every mention ya makofi to nayopiga is actually uh, associated with the bogey, you know, this, the team. Ama the hour, what you create in a, in a dance and all that. So it's like, it's rush hour, na bogey dio hii na ingia. And so we start. It's that clapping. But really, who are we clapping to? Who is, uh, you know, who are we directing this, you know, at a company praise our money to Nafanya, who are we directing it to? I see uh, Jabidi Aki Zungums about, uh, you know, we should not make gospel music, uh, you know, is it a, a genre? Uh, you know, people pronounce it differently as he's saying. Um, but well, I think this is more of entertainment than it is gospel music. Why? Kwasababu, for anything to be gospel, you know, the, 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 the name gospel, the, 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 yeah, the word gospel actually means the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ? Now, now it has to do with the redemption of man, the salvation of man. Well, there are many other aspects that we explore within the kingdom of God apart from salvation because kuna mambo mengine, you know, yenye analingana na maisha ya ukristo. But guys, mimi na itafuta ina 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 leta shida kidogo. Eh hey, unapata kwa pungufu yako pa. Na ndio mbogi naingia. <laughs> Makofi. Mira shawa. Ndio masai tu. Makofi. Well, uh, at some point, naona mikono inakaa juu, you know, mikono yetu yaishuki kwa urahisi ya zin, uh, tuchoki ya, atucha, atuchoki ura, uh, kwa, kwa haraka, you know, kama unangojea to give up, then uh, we are not giving up uh, soon on maybe praising him, you know, giving thanks, you know, kama giving thanks and then in tongues and uh, blah, blah, blah. 
it is okay but you see uh, one thing that we have to be clear on if uh, this piece for example was supposed to be say patriotic for example then it would mean that the message in Iko Hapo ni a message ama a call to patriotism so now it's gospel music so what's the call in it what's the call there what are, what's the message uh, driving the listener ama the viewer to the viewer and I'm doing you I know me corner I'm a shukuru I'm a big I'm a coffee and to who and for what reason I think it's a bit confused uh, to me I see I, I see it as having a confused message or rather does not have a, a straight message I need a message you know because I'm a kwamba ah who you an address what one bow I'm a finika who you an address what one bow maybe we may give up who you an address maybe what one bow one may backslide one may rudy numa you know there is no that central theme there's no central message that is being driven here so to me, yes, Saul and I mentioned you are David. David and Achuna Gitayake, Saul and Apona. It is okay. So, well, that's music, it's true. But apart from the differences, it's also very important to Kujuriza, come and go for music. How is it transforming somebody's life? What is the transformative angle? What is the approach that you want the viewer, I'm at the listener, I'm at the audience to get? So, I, I feel a lot could have been done to, to this piece. If it's indeed a gospel music, they not just give citations ama kujaribu ku allude something in the gospel ama in the bible hapa na pale i think a lot of more justice should have been done to it so for me i think on a scale of one to five uh well there's some creativity in it but you see uh, that's the, the scriptural creativity i would call it that would not go beyond that too for me Sadi rock so we dem to na rocket eh. and a general man he up on a fake eh on a pata wapo ngufu ya kopa na ndio mbogi na ingia <laughs> makofi On the song Makofi, Jabidi and the right Rende, costume and design I'd give them a four because the right Rende, Nimiona, all of them are, uh, I would say, dressed okay. However, there is a lady who has a very uh, short short and there is one guy with a ragged. But all in all, the dancing styles, their costume, I would say for a rating, I'd give them a four. Yes. So, Makofi, Jabidi, and uh, Right Rende, it's a four. I like the chromatic abbreviation that the director has used in his own editing. Uh, you can see there's some shift in the color channels, what we call the RGB. So the red, the red, green and blue channels. So you can see there's some shift. There's also some kind of retro vibe going in the song itself. So kind of a Jeruku letter style, styles like Kitambo, but then in a new modern age, you know, and it's an some colors, there's some like dual tone colors. It can be red, it can be pink, it can be magenta, it can be blue. Whichever kind of dual tone colors that the director used was trying to kind of communicate some certain vibe of the song, you know. Um, I don't know so much of what the message was about the song, but because there's so much dancing here and there, and for me, yeah, I think it's kind of trying to communicate to the younger age. The, the kind of cut and visuals that the director was trying to do and try to bring up some aspect ratios sometimes it's on a 
nikaa format ya simu at times it was like a full screen tv you know trying to frame the songs in different sizes according na vile unataka ku watch na is trying to just to hide some different aspects kwa imbo yenyewe but still is giving you what he was starting from the beginning and he endeleza hadi akimaliza kuna pa zingine zile achezi sana that the chromatic abbreviation but there are some points and stages zile achezi nazo kianza um, some part of the song kiendelea na pia mwisho so apart from that i have seen also he used a bit a um, lot of yellow color and green so in his own lot whatever lot he used he he focused on more greens that are more jungle greenish like and a lot of hue that was yellow saturated and at the end of the day you know it all comes down to the stylistic effect that you want to people to see uh is at times you don't always go professional at times you kind of play with colors at times you kind of play with effects because you want to grab people's attention and for me this is a grabber as much as it's a dancing song is a grabber for most artist and trying to see some visual manners of how, how things are going about they kind of they kind of look amateur in a way but i think he'll kwa style ya kuifanya ikae retro like old style but still an amateur but yet professional so for the song makofi by javide i'll give it a strong 4 out of 5 for good job done yes not the best graphics in the world that they used but in terms of the work that they did behind the scenes they achieved whatever they needed to achieve <laughs> Coffee.